Confidence isn't something that is a great gift that's bestowed on a select few really awesome people. Confidence is something that is chosen. Confidence is a choice. Every single person, whether you're rich or poor, educated, uneducated, doesn't matter. Every single person has a good side and a bad side. But the reason why we say confidence is a choice is because which one is your brain more focused on? Which one is your brain more trained to dwell in? Hi guys, this is Linda from Brain Education TV. If this is your first time, welcome. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell for notifications of each new episode. In this video, I'm going to be talking about confidence. Confidence is such an important thing to our mental well-being, so confidence is something that is worth discussing about. Confidence is something that everybody wants, but not everyone has it at the moment. There are many reasons why that can contribute to low self-confidence or reduced self-confidence, and one of them can be the environment that you are in. Maybe you're in an environment that doesn't foster your growth. Maybe you're in an environment where people pick on you or uh, the schools or teachers or parents even tell you you're not good enough or make you feel like you're not good enough. And maybe you're in a situation where you yourself are not satisfied with your performance in school or performance at work, performance in relationships, all of these things, many, many reasons why someone can have low self-confidence. So if you're someone who struggles with confidence, first and foremost, I want to say there is nothing wrong with you. Let's start from there. There's nothing wrong with you. The only thing that may be off is how you're trained to think about yourself. How we behave, how we talk, how we think, how we perceive. These are all trained circuits that you unknowingly, subconsciously imprinted inside of your brain. So this means that confidence isn't something that is a great gift that's bestowed on a select few really awesome people. Confidence is something that is chosen. Confidence is a choice. Lack of confidence is also a choice. Now, some of you might be saying, actually, Linda, I didn't choose to have low self-confidence. I hear you, I get it, but try to think of it in this way. The average human being has about 90,000 thoughts a day. 80% of those thoughts are negative, and 90% of those thoughts are the same thoughts that we had yesterday. So this means that the human brain is prone to thinking negative and looking at all the bad things, all the things that are wrong in our lives. And confidence works the same way. Whether we realize it or not, so many of us are caught up in only looking the negative sides to our character, negative sides to our life. So for example, the most common source of a lack of self-confidence is body image. Even though you might be a beautiful person inside and outside, we get so caught up in the little flaws that we have, like, oh, my nose is crooked. Oh, my eyebrows are shaped differently. Oh, I don't look like the Instagram model who has a perfect face. So many things that we focus on the negative aspects of what we carry. So this means that when you keep focusing on the negative things about myself, your brain is trained to only think negative things about you. And when you go on like this for days and weeks and months and years and years and years of your brain thinking 90,000 thoughts, 80% being negative, 90% being the same thing as yesterday, you keep dwelling in negative, 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 negative information about yourself. No wonder your brain lacks confidence. Every single person, whether you're rich or poor, Educated, uneducated, doesn't matter. Every single person has a good side and a bad side. There are, of course, qualities that we need to improve on. Everyone can improve. Everyone can do better. There are always things that every single one of us is lacking in. But then on the flip side, there are so many good things that we carry, positive traits that we have, talents that we carry. Every single person has a good side and a bad side to them. But the reason why we say confidence is a choice is because which one is your brain more focused on? Which one is your brain more trained 
to dwell in. In order to regain confidence, you must first see that ah, every single person, including myself, has a good side and a bad side. It's just a matter of where my brain is trained to focus on. So increasing confidence, the key to increasing confidence is training your brain to not look at just the negative side to you, but look at the positive things, all the good things that you are doing, all the good things that you carry in your life. Even the sun, the sun that gives life to millions and trillions of life forms on this earth, even the sun has black spots. Can you imagine what would happen to life on earth if the sun one day said, Oh my god, I'm so useless, I'm so worthless, I have these black spots, why do I even try, why do I even care, I should just give up, and then just loses its light. Can you imagine the repercussions if the sun thought that way? If the sun lost its light, every single life on this planet, including you and I, we would not be here, we would die. So like this, every single person has their black spots. When you train your brain to dwell on the positive sides to you, you are giving your brain information that, ah, I'm a being who is worthy. I'm a being who is special. I'm a being who has talent. Look at all these contributions I'm making, even though yes, I do have some negative things or negative bad habits. Confidence is not something given to a special select few. Confidence is a choice that each and every one of us can make on a daily basis. No matter how much the odds are stacked up against you to think on the negative and to dwell and oh, why, why is my life like this? It's ultimately your choice of where you place the energy of your brain to focus on. Don't forget that you have a choice. You actually have the power. It's just that most of us forget that we have this power. So we let our minds just drag us around wherever it wants us to go. And usually if you let the mind just drag you wherever it wants to go, it wants to go towards the negative. If you find yourself in that situation, grab a hold of your mind and pull it back. Pull it back because you are the master of your brain. The brain is in your body. The brain is in your head, which means you are the master of this organ, this thing that is inside of your body. So reclaim that mastership and choose to shift your focus on seeing all the positive things that you have. So I want to hear your thoughts about this topic. If you have self-confidence issues, body image issues, or if you're someone who overcame all of that, whatever it is regarding self-confidence, I want to hear about it. So let me know in the comments below about what you think about self-confidence. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.